Resident senior citizens and super senior citizens get significant income tax incentives under the Income Tax Act. And the tax liabilities for seniors are also different as they see added exemptions and lower tax slabs. And the Income Tax Department also exempts some senior citizens from filing their annual returns. Hello everyone, I'm Hemant Abhishek and welcome to a brand new edition of Paisa Vasool. And today, we'll discuss the tax slabs and calculations for senior and super senior citizens in detail. First, let's understand the definition of senior citizen and super senior citizen. For the purpose of income tax return filing, a resident Indian 60 years of age or older is considered as a senior citizen. And those 80 years or older are considered as super seniors. The tax of senior citizens and super senior citizens is computed based on their total income, which includes interest from pensions, fixed deposits and other sources of income as well. Also, the tax liability for senior citizens and super senior citizens can vary depending on whether they choose the old tax regime or the new tax regime. First, let's talk about income tax slab for senior citizens under the old tax regime. Up to rupees 3 lakh income, they pay nil tax. Between rupees 3 lakh and rupees 5 lakh, they have to pay 5% tax of their income over rupees 3 lakh. Between rupees 5 lakh and rupees 10 lakh, they have to pay rupees 10,000 plus 20% of their annual income over rupees 5 lakh. And for income above rupees 10 lakh, they have to pay rupees 1 lakh 10,000 plus 30% of their income over rupees 10 lakh. Next up, let's discuss income tax slabs for super senior citizens under the old tax regime. When it comes to super seniors, they have to pay zero tax up to rupees 5 lakh income. Between rupees 5 lakh and rupees 10 lakh, they have to pay 20% of their income over rupees 5 lakh. Above rupees 10 lakh, they have to pay rupees 1 lakh plus 30% of their income over rupees 10 lakh. Apart from the tax slabs, the senior citizens and super senior citizens are also required to pay 4% health and education says on the total tax amount. Next up, let's discuss income tax slab rate for both senior and super senior citizens as per the new tax regime. The tax slabs for both senior and super senior citizens are the same under the new tax regime. For an income up to Rs 2.5 lakh, they have to pay zero income tax. For income between Rs 2.5 lakh and Rs 5 lakh, they have to pay 5% income tax. For income between Rs 5 lakh and Rs 7.5 lakh, they have to pay 10% income tax. For income between Rs 7.5 lakh and Rs 10 lakh, they have to pay 15% income tax. For income between Rs 10 lakh and Rs 12.5 lakh, they have to pay 20% income tax. And for income between Rs 12.5 lakh and Rs 15 lakh, they have to pay 25% income tax. And for income above Rs 15 lakh, they have to pay 30% income tax. Who is exempt from filing return? Now let's talk about the senior citizens who are exempt from filing income tax return. As per the section 194P of the Income Tax Act, senior citizens aged 75 years and above are exempted from filing income tax returns if they fulfill these conditions. Firstly, the senior citizen should be of 75 years or above and a resident in the previous year. The person should only have pension income and interest income, both of which have been received in the same bank account. The senior citizen can be exempt from filing return by submitting a declaration to the specified bank, which will then be responsible for TDS deduction after considering deductions under Chapter 6A and rebate under 87A. Once the bank deducts tax, they will not be required to file income tax returns. That's all for this week. We'll return in the next video with some more wealth and investment tips and tax saving tricks. Till then, goodbye, take care and keep vasooling paisa. Because if it's not value for money, it's not worth it.